Taylor. Jason, tell us what you got in there. Croissants. Easy to eat, soft, you can kind of mash them up, light. They're good. They taste good too. Got anything in your back pocket? Not right now. I got nothing. Eating is cheating. Today's very important. Um, we've got a good plan, and I think uh, I think we can follow through on it. We'll see. It's it's going to be a hard day. Today's the real test, I think. So, we'll see how it goes. You guys, do anything super special to uh, rest up for today? Yesterday? No, nope, pretty much routine. Got to keep it level, you know. Same thing every day. Just uh, it's a little easier on the nerves that way. <laughs> and we had Chipotle last night. <laughs> Probably not much. Sometimes. When you're going hard enough, you're pretty much brain dead. I am a fist of rage, one foot in the grave. I am a razor blade, slicing through a wrist of hate. Feel me coming, feel me coming, feel me coming. Usually, I'm just kind of in the race until I've gone through enough pain brought on by the other riders that I get aggravated enough to try and hurt someone and then that's when I go to the front and just try and ride fast and hurt people like over the last two days my max for 10 minutes was 402 watts so hopefully I should be able to do like 390 all the way should be pretty good Taylor. I don't particularly like it. It's easier to move around in the pack, though. You know why is that? People look at you like, oh, maybe he belongs in the front. And so it's like, rather than like if you're the young riders, you're either like, ah, eh, maybe you belong in the back. <laughs> you know, it's it's going to be all about legs today. Uh, the plan is to be as aggressive aggressive as possible. Get some guys in and early breakaway, take some pressure off of Tom, Jason, and Danny. Um, ultimately, we're invested in having those three get over the top with uh, the main leaders, and then we'll see what happens from that point on. Um, you know, in terms of the power today, uh, the boys are definitely going to be seeing some big numbers, but uh, it's really going to be about them conserving and hiding in terms of our top four guys, and then the rest of the guys are just going to have to unleash and pace themselves. And I think in that sense, it's going to be uh, a valuable tool for us to let them know where they are uh, especially in the breakaway attempts. Uh, they're all capable. I think that uh, we're really reassured right now that they all have the talent and the capacity to be with the leaders over the top of Sierra, so it's not going to be uh, an issue at all. Um, you know, all the guys, what we saw on Trinity, what we saw on Coleman Valley Road, they're uh, exactly where they need to be, so it's uh, really reassuring. You know, if everyone gets over the top, there will only be maybe about 20 guys, so... That's going to create a GC type of split. If we can at least get third in the sprint with Jason Donald, then we'll take over the lead. And then the top three is really going to end up coming down to the Solvang time trial. At this point, it's just all about belief. You just tell them, hey, great job, and you guys are the best, and reassure them that uh, you know their basic instinct of, for being athletes and great athletes at that is right on, and uh, everything else will take care of itself. I think that the value in the power tap is post-event to analyze what happened, to have this as a reference point for their training in the future and as a reference point for next year. But um, it is a reminder if they're going too hard. Uh, it is a reminder in terms of their energy expenditure, and uh, it gives them a little bit of feedback during the ride to know that they're uh, where they need to be. I'll be in uh, car number two, caravan number two, after uh, the feed zone. So. Johnny, uh, Con, and I are going to drive up to the feed zone today, and then after that, we're going to hop in the caravan and uh, hopefully follow a breakaway to see our guys win this race.